How you doing? So this is day two of the house fires tour. So I've just arrived at the venue here in Newcastle. How you doing? We're here with Ken Riley from Newcastle. How you doing, Ken? I'm good, mate. How are you? Wonderful. Splendid. It's really good to see you after all these years. When was it? The last time we saw each other was what? Like uh, five minutes ago, upstairs in the venue. <laughs> <laughs> so for everybody, you you were the no. lead singer of Why Friday. That's right, yeah. And uh, I think you guys came to last time I saw you was in the air. Do you remember Maybe. that? It was like it was a random gig in the air. There was they catered it for to be massive, and there was only like twenty people showed up. The story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't it your fault or my fault because we were in the, we were in the same bill. Oh really? I think it must be your fault then. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to um, do you want to tell us a wee bit about your journey with Why Friday? Like how did oh, Why God. Friday all start? Oh my goodness, Alan, you're going back. Yeah. Take us back, when did it start? It started uh, 20 something years ago. Yeah. When we got together to uh, lead worship at a youth event. It was a different time. Yeah. It was a different time, you know. Um, you know, worship was very different then. You know, deliveries were maybe just popping their heads up. You know, so that intimate red money kind of style was a new thing. And there was just a, um, a sense that youth particularly in the church were ready for this new wave of something yeah and um so we got together um with as part of yfc actually with youth for christ in, in newcastle um i haven't told this story for a long time so it's still like it's yeah. not fresh um so we uh got together to do worship and at, at the time it was like um Low, you, you know, whoever could play something was in the band. There was like 15 people or something. You mm. know, you'd have a flute player and a violinist and a and a electric guitarist and you know, 15 singers. You know that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but God seemed to breathe in it. Yeah. And it grew really quickly, and and the band changed and evolved. And but then we distilled it down to the more or less the four guys and and uh, travelled loads. Yeah. So did you travel? Like worldwide, yeah, did you visit yeah. many countries? And yeah, 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 it was great. I mean, what was the furthest you travelled? Uh, we didn't make it as far as Australia. Uh, right. Singapore was yeah. about as far wow. as far, that way. Wow. That, yeah, they were they were great. That, that was. Uh, I remember we did three nights with um, the late Steve Hill, mm -hmm. National Stadium, Singapore, huge thing. Incredible. You know, I remember St Steve being like, "Come on." Doing an appeal, come down, and like a thousand people would come down and accept Christ. And then, that's amazing. You know, you're standing there on the stage playing the music with Steve, like smiling at you, and uh, somebody would get out of a wheelchair. You know, that all that, all that kind wow. of beautiful stuff. Yeah. Wow. You're known for being a songwriter as well, aren't you? Like, is that one of your passions to to write songs as well as performing and playing and leading? Yeah, yeah. So, so in these days, I, I'm worship pastor at, at a church called City Church in Newcastle, which is part of NFI. Cool. Uh, I kind, I'm kind of off the road out of a bit of laziness yeah, yeah. God's really chivying me along at the moment and challenging me on why, why I'm not doing it um, but um, but I'm writing lots I'm writing lots of songs for the church and yeah. singing them and, and all that sort of stuff it's okay Doug don't worry it's only my first TV <laughs> interview in 55 years I got Doug yesterday so <laughs> what would be some of the most well known songs that you've written that we would know as a church uh, Agadu yeah, yeah. Can buy, can buy Is it? Loopy. Snooker Loopy was a particular favourite. <laughs> they would be two of the most well-known ones. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But did you not? Did were you not one of the writers on Everlasting God, Strengthful Rise? 
Answer the question. Wait, wait, I still prefer listen, yes, I know yes, because I was. I yes, I every was. good worship leader reads the, the writers of, of the songs that they do. Yes, I was. So, yeah. So tell us about you don't want do you know why you speak about that? You I, don't feel like, mind, I don't mind. Tell us about you've got bit, the power, I'm just such a Tell us a bit about He's everlasting tied, tied God. me to the chair. And there's elect, <laughs> there's electrodes on my toes. And if I move he's gonna kill me. Help, said help. T- tell us a wee bit about everlasting God, like how did that come about? Uh written with Brenton Brown. Uh, what what do I say? Um, in a in a flat in Wimbledon in London. Yeah. Um, uh, Brenton was quite ill at the time, um, and he was really hanging on to the scripture from from Isaiah, the uh, you know the young men and the walk and the weary and the yeah yeah, um, and we just found ourselves writing the song. Uh, it was quite quick. The first the verse and the pre were you know it was kind of Brenton saying I've got this yeah. idea. I was like oh I've got this bit. And, wow. And then it took a while to land the final chorus, but. I, it's a top song, man. I mean, it's blessed the church world. Yeah, it's, which it? is lovely, right? And and a song like that ceases to become yours very quickly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It ceases to become yeah. becomes the property of the church. Yeah, which and is that, the dream. Lo- yeah, it's lovely. That's the yeah. dream as a Absolute, songwriter, isn't it? Absolutely fab, yeah. Wow, yeah. mate. Listen, it's been great to interview you and chat with you and get give us a a wee high five for the. Oh my goodness! I've and have touched, you got? I've touched <laughs> Alan McKinley. And have you got? Have you got a, like? Can you say anything in Scottish for us? Like a wee Scottish phrase? You must be good at it as a Geordie. My best, my best Scottish phrase would be. Okay, I'm so I can't. Everyone, I, oh, try your best. Yeah, I, best, I, go pa- best Scottish. Sons actually. of Scotland. <laughs> that's all I had. I mean, that's the only brain. My man Mel Gibson okay. taught me some things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, go for it. Go for it. You guys. We're going to best. pick a fight. Oh, hey. Hey. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> she here, right there, big man. Go for it. Go for it, Nate. Tell me about Scottish. Go for it. You guys got the Rangers, Celtic over here. Love the footy clubs. Oh, yeah, nice. excellent. And what what, <laughs> what do you support? I'm a Ranger <laughs> fan. Yes! Get <laughs> in! <laughs> excellent. Well, I'm a big fan of Alan McKinley, really. He's, he's my inspiration in life. Yeah.